Hey friends, it's almost that time of the year. The Kentucky Derby is coming up and I have a perfect recipe for your Kentucky Derby party. I'm making the Derby pie. All year, I've been making a popular state dessert every week and it happens to be the week of Kentucky and I'm making the Derby pie. So I'll show you exactly how I made it. First of all, I got these fresh pecans from our pal, Harold from Preacher's Day Off. So thanks, Harold. I roasted these in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now you can certainly just use pecans from your local store. You don't have to use freshly roasted ones, but of course this is gonna make it extra special. While those cool, I am going to melt one stick of butter in the microwave. And then I brought my pie pan over, sprayed it with a little nonstick cooking spray, and I added in one Pillsbury pre-made pie crust. Now we're gonna wanna press this down and pinch these edges so they are so nice and fancy. And let's talk about fancy. The Kentucky Derby is all about fancy. Fancy clothes, fancy hats, fancy parties. So here's a few pictures from previous Kentucky Derby parties we had with my sister and just William and I. We love to put on our fanciest hats and just have a good time and watch the races. Now I did poke the bottom of that pie crust with a fork so nothing bubbles up. And now let's bring that butter back over and add in all our ingredients. We need a half a cup of granulated white sugar, a half a cup of dark brown sugar. And then I just use my electric mixer to combine all these ingredients as I went along. Once that was mixed together, I added in one teaspoon of vanilla, and then we wanna use two tablespoons of your favorite bourbon. And tonight we're using this wild turkey rare breed. Now the bourbon is optional, so you don't need to add this if you don't want to. Your pie will turn out just as delicious if you use it or not. Now let's blend this together, and then we're gonna to wanna to add two eggs to this. Now last year we watched the Kentucky Derby from home and we had a little bit of a party and I made these super cute and delicious Benedictine tea sandwiches. They were so much fun. Now to this batter, we're gonna add a half a cup of flour and a half a teaspoon of salt and then just blend that all together until that is fully combined. Now comes the good part. We're gonna add in one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then of course, the star of the show, we're gonna add in one cup of these freshly roasted pecans. Again, you can certainly use the ones from the store. And let's talk about pecans. Do you say pecans, pecans, pecans? I mean, I'm from Wisconsin and it, to me it's interchangeable. It's just pecans, pecans. Let me know in the comments how you say it. Once we have this all stirred together, now we're gonna put that in our pie shell, and this needs to cook in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. This was great, one of those kind of set it in the oven and forget about it. It cooked perfectly in one hour. Unlike a regular pecan pie, this almost gets kind of a crust at the top, as you can see here. And then it's ooey and gooey and chocolatey in the middle. It was so good. We tried this warm and stay till the end and you can see our reaction for this. And then there's a little bit of a blooper at the end as well from last year. It's a bit funny. Look at the layers of chocolate in there. This was so yummy and ooey gooey in the center. Peace for me, a piece for my husband, and here is our reaction to this pie. Okay, here we are with the Kentucky Derby pie. It really looks and smells so good. You really smell the chocolate. Anxious to try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, it's still so warm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I don't know if you're still seated, but like this, but we're going to put a little whipped cream on it. I think we're in everything Wisconsin. tastes a little mm -hmm. better with whipped cream. <laughs> oh, this is so good. That chocolate is just warm and it's mm -hmm. like a gooey inside. Mm. That's a great job, honey. Thanks. Way to go.
Kentucky Derby Pie. Just in time for the 150th running of the Kentucky Derby. Is it? Yeah. Oh, fun. We'll have a party for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Honey, my horse lost, and I need to get on the resting couch. I believe I got a touch of the vapors.